Are we ready to do this, people? Hello, it's me. I was wondering if you'd like to play with makeup if you're free. Hello, everyone. I'm going to try to lower my voice and not scream as much because I get comments all the time saying, you're screaming at me the whole video. It's so annoying. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. But for some reason, it's like, especially once I get excited, like it's over. Like I'm just like, ah! That's just me. Take it or leave it. And so for today's video, I have never done this before and I am literally so excited. Like, I feel like a kid going to Disney World, like for the first time. I am filming a full face of first impressions. The title kind of speaks for itself and I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. But for those of you who have not heard of this, I am going to be using all new products today on my face that I have not used and you are going to be witnessing my first impression to those products on camera. And I am super excited. You want to hear how dumb I am? Honest to God. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I just need to get better like at life. So I was sitting on my friend's couch maybe like three or four months ago and I had a bunch of new makeup products and I was like, oh my gosh, you know what would be such an amazing video? If I did an entire full face of makeup with all brand new products and it would be like a full face of first impressions instead of just like one first impression, you know, but like a full face. Like, wouldn't that be so cool? Why has no one ever done that before? And then I got on YouTube and typed in full face of first impressions to see if it had ever been done. And I'm like, oh my God, there are like millions of results. Not to mention like my friends here on YouTube have done it several times. And I'm like, I need to figure it out. So basically there was like a five minute period where I was like, girl, give me a cocktail. We're celebrating. I just created the most amazing video idea. And I was like, Really, Jacqueline? Like, no, you should probably start paying attention a little bit more because this has been done literally millions of times. So, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into this, people. Let's do it. So first thing is first, I'm going to be using the Sisley Double Whatever. I don't even know what this is called, but it's a primer and it's expansive ass. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take a uh, one full pump, one full pump, that's it, that's it. And I'm going to just massage this into the skin. Mmm, it feels kind of tacky with like a jelly consistency. Just in case you were curious what it feels like, I'm gonna just describe it as I go. I'm actually really hoping that I don't fall in love with this because then I will be committed to repurchasing a $200 primer like every three months and I don't think I'm down for that. So hopefully this isn't bomb, otherwise I'll be screwed. So now that it's on the skin and kind of dry, it feels tacky. It doesn't feel like smooth or matte at all. It has like a sticky consistency like my fingers are like sticking to my skin which I personally like because a lot of times those types of primers work really well because your foundation sticks to it like glue so for foundation today I'm gonna be going with the cover FX total coverage cream foundation I'm gonna be using shade G 20 which I have found is my pale shade without my spray tan I'm just gonna go in with my regular foundation brush that I always use that way I can really get a good impression of this foundation I'm gonna swirl it around in here what are the claims on this foundation it is an antioxidant rich cream foundation and concealer and one that provides radiant full coverage. Okay, fabu, that's all I'm really asking for in foundations. I'm gonna go ahead and just swirl my brush around and then just begin to tap it on. Oh, hi coverage, how are the? Damn, this does have a lot of coverage. Okay, cover effects. The way this is applying, honestly, just first impression clearly, like I haven't even gotten it on my full face, but I already feel like this is gonna wanna be, this is gonna be one of my new favorite foundations. Like it's going on so creamy with so much coverage. So for the concealer today, it's the only thing that I'm not gonna be doing like a new first impression of. I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape, which is my favorite concealer at the moment, because this is the only concealer that I have right now that is new, which is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer. And I put it on a couple of days ago and I did not like it. For today, I'm gonna stick to what I know and just use the Tarte Shape Tape. But I am going to be using um, a newer beauty sponge. So I always want to call it a beauty blender. I'm trying to get better kind than beauty sponges. I'm going to be using a new beauty sponge by Morphe because I always use this one, <laughs> the Teletubby sponge. <laughs> My God, that will forever be stuck with me now. Oh, I'm excited because I think that I'm really going to like this when it comes to baking because of this harsh edge. So I'm going to try this one today on my under eye. Oh yeah, it's just like the exact same thing, obviously the exact same sponge, exact same texture. It's just more pointed which initially is really nice because I'm getting closer to my eye and with this one than I usually do with this one. Like I can feel I can get closer in here as opposed to this one. It's way more rounded out. So that definitely is an advantage. Okay, this foundation is looking beautiful. See all those wrinkles coming back in my forehead? Botox is wearing off. Hey girl, hey. 
Okay, so for my face powder today, I'm going to be trying the new, well, it's not new, I don't think, but it's new to me. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Damn. And I'm going to use this big La Mer powder brush, which La Mer actually sent to me a couple of weeks ago, which is so sweet. So thank you to La Mer. That was an awesome package to receive. I have not used this powder yet. Duh, it's a first impressions video. Oh, it's a little bit too dark. Hold on. It's okay, honey. I also bought the lightest color, which is in shade one. I want to go over top of it. Yeah, that's definitely my color. Okay, so honestly, like, I'm not going to lie to you. This brush is freaking bomb. I'm sure, it costs, like, the same price as a car, but it's bomb. That powder, honestly, though, looks beautiful. Oh, my God. Holy. Okay, now I have to touch the powder. Oh, my gosh. My skin feels like butter. Yeah, this looks so smooth and nice on my skin. Yes, honey, come through, Charlotte Tilbury. So now for eyebrows, I'm going to be using something other than the Anastasia Brow Definer, which is insane, but I found this Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Brow Pencil. It's called the Three-Way Shape Tool, and it's interesting because one side is a brow pencil, the other side is a spoolie, but then here in the middle, it's like a powder highlight that comes out to highlight the brow bone. Um, just first impression of it, it looks definitely a little gritty and a little glittery. Um, and it's a little bit too dark for me to personally highlight with right now. I don't know if you can see it on my hand, but it's got like a golden undertone in it. I don't know. So I'm not going to be using that to highlight, but I am going to be using the brow pencil. Honestly, when I saw this online, I was like, that looks similar to the Anastasia Brow Definer. And then when I got it in the mail, I was like, that is the Anastasia Brow Definer. Like that is the exact same Thing. like the shape of the packaging and everything different spoolie though I think yes honey I know my Anastasia spoolie it's a different spoolie this one is way more short and abrupt this one has more of a rounded tip and it is longer so the spoolies are different I feel no difference holding this in my hand I feel no difference applying it to my brows it feels like the exact same product. The only difference is the spoolie, and I actually prefer the Anastasia spoolie over this one because the Anastasia spoolie is rounded on the top, so I'm able to kind of get in there more and blend better with that one um, as opposed to the Charlotte Tilbury one. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be going in with the Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I received this on Saturday, the day before yesterday, so thank you to Jeffree and his team for sending it to me. It looks like this in case you have not seen it's got I don't want to blind you guys and like point the mirror and the lights but it's got a really really nice like clear mirror like when you look at yourself in it like it's a really good mirror um it's actually really heavy too like it like falls back it's like a really heavy like solid mirror and then the palette itself looks like this now just being honest when I first saw this palette like on Instagram and online I didn't die for it like my jaw didn't drop I wasn't like oh my god I need that like I was just like oh those are some pretty colors in there and that was basically the end of it for me until I saw it in person. When he sent it to me and I opened it up, I was like, okay. Like I just immediately got inspired to create something different. So I kind of have a look in mind that I want to go for today. So let's see how it turns out. I'm going to start off with Safe Word, which is definitely like a very neutral matte, kind of light brown. And just applying this with a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe R37. I'm just going to put that in the whole crease. For today's look, I want to keep this like kind of like a halo smoky eye like I want it to be just as intense in the inner corner as it is in the outer corner so I'm going to bring this totally inward all right now I'm going to grab the light orange shade right here this is the shade charm it is a matte but it has like little flecks of sparkle in it does that make sense like how can it be matte with sparkly but it is like <laughs> you know what I'm saying like it's a matte shade but it's got little tiny shimmery flecks in it I'm just going to go right over top this has really nice pigment. So far, both shades have had great pigment in them. Wow! I'm going to go in with Fetish. Girl, you already knew that I was going to go in with Fetish. Let's get real. I'm just going to tap this really gently. I don't have too much product on my brush right now. I'm going in really lightly. I'm going to zoom you in even more because I feel like when I do the eyes, like you guys want to be all up in my shit. I'm scared of like getting a lot of fallout, so I'm like tapping off so much of the excess. That's what that noise is. I'm tapping my brush. This color, it's like a burgundy-ish, ready 
purpley. Wow, actually impressed with this, like for real. I wouldn't go out of my way to lie to you guys. I'm for real impressed with this color. Holy. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of a smaller brush and hit that in a corner. I don't know why, I always feel like I have to look away when I do this, like look the opposite direction. <laughs> I feel like it gets it in there like nice and deep. That's what she said. Okay, now I'm going to pick up some of the darkest shade in the palette, which is this dark matte chocolatey brown. I love colors like this, like that fudgy, like warm, deep matte brown. Mm, I love it, it's called Dominatrix. I don't know why, but saying come through to everything recently. Like the past month, it started off as a joke, because like I hear people say it all the time. It's like me and my friend, one day that like we were sitting on the couch just being super silly. One night we were sitting on the couch being super silly, and we just kept being like, come through, water. Yes, come through, TV. Like, and we were just being so ridiculous, just laughing our asses off. And now it's actually turned into a real habit. So now I'm actually saying come through to everything. And I'm like, okay, I need to stop this habit because it's getting obnoxious. I'm going to grab this like yellowy, shimmery shade right here. It is called Frosting on a flat synthetic brush. This is the MAC 242. I'm going to put that in the center of the lid. Okay, I want this to be more vibrant. I'm gonna spray my brush with some Fix Plus. I swear, I feel like, honest to God, I don't think I even use shimmers on my lid anymore unless I spray my brush. Like, I never just put a shimmer and walk away. I always spray my brush, because it just, look at what it does. It just gives it so much more of a pop. I'm like, that's what I want. I want that pop. Those two colors together are giving me like major fall vibes. I'm just going with a little bit more of that reddish fetish shade. <laughs> Just make sure that we don't have any harshness. I don't want it to like abruptly turn into gold. I want it to be a nice gradient soft fade. There we go. So for my lower lash line, I want to do something fun and different instead of keeping it all red and gold. I want to do like a pop of color. So I'm going to initially go in with military right here because this matte army green is just everything to me with its yellow undertone. It's so freaking pretty. I'm going to blend that green. All the way from outer corner to inner corner. Oh my god, that's so pretty! All right, now I'm gonna pick up a stiff little definer brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Poison right next to it, which is also a matte, and I'm gonna put that really tight on my actual lash line. This color, oh my god. So now for the part that I have been the most excited for in this entire video because I have been waiting to use these products for like a week and a half. If you guys saw my Sephora haul, I bought these in almost every single shade and they are the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe that I have resisted using these for that long. I've swatched them on my hands a million times, but I've never actually worn them. So I'm just going to dab it right over this gold in the center of the eye and see what happens. Let's do this. Oh honey! I don't like how much to put on. I don't know. I don't know when to stop. Oh God, someone stop me. That just took this look to a whole other level. Okay, I'm gonna just take a totally clean brush and just kind of like see what happens. Cause I don't really know how to work with these yet. More like right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. These actually dry much quicker than I expected. I'm gonna just wipe off that glitter that fell and because I powdered my face, it's just gonna come right off. Thank goodness. Is there anyone else at home right now that's having like little tiny orgasms over this gold glitter? Because I really, like, I, I think I need a minute by myself. I'm gonna try to work quicker this time. Now I know that it dries fast, so let's just get this on there. And while it's still wet, I'm gonna immediately kind of push it around. Move, bitch. Okay, that was a way easier experience now that I kind of know how to work with them. I'm going to pop on some lashes really quick and I will be right back. Okay, so now eyelashes are on and it is officially getting dark behind me. So the lighting is changing a lot and I apologize for that. These new Marc Jacobs, they're called Highliners. They are matte gel eye crayons launched recently. They have some that are shimmery and some that are matte. And I want to use this turquoise one in my inner rim because I think it might be kind of like a fun 
pop of color and I haven't used these yet. Oh, that is so cool. All right, let me just throw on some mascara real quick on my lower lashes. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Alexis Ren Times ColourPop Bronzer and Highlighter. It's very pigmented and definitely a very orangey terracotta undertone. Since I'm so fair, I'm gonna be really light-handed with it. I am using the Morphe R2 brush to apply this, which has been my new favorite bronzer brush the past couple of days. I've been loving it. I always get so nervous to try new bronzers. So I'm so scared they're gonna be blotchy and I'm gonna be like, great, what do I do now? This is applying really, really nicely. Yes, get that pasty ass forehead. Wow, this is applying like a high-end bronzer right now. This is really, really beautiful. Okay, so now for blush. I just recently purchased the Ofra blush palette. It looks like this. Tons of different colors. The only thing that I wish it had was like a really amazing like orangey peachy shade, which it doesn't, but that is okay. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Sigma F10. Hold on, I barely see anything. Okay, I see it now. That's nice. It's a nice soft application. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this one right here in the very bottom corner, which is just a little bit darker, but it's still got some warmth in it. There we go, now I see it. <laughs> that color wasn't really showing up too much on me. All right, so now for highlight, the new Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. It's actually perfect if you follow me on Snapchat. I just snapped before I filmed that literally like I turned on all my lights to film. I sat down, I was looking in the viewfinder and I was about to press record and my doorbell rang and it was UPS with this package, which was so exciting. I was like, it's perfect timing because I have been so excited to try this. Having any YouTuber be able to collaborate with a big brand like this is just it's such an awesome thing. I'm really happy and I'm really excited for her. I can only imagine how she's feeling right now and how she's gonna feel when it launches. So I'm so happy for her. So this is the first time that I'm actually seeing it in per- Yes, bitch! Forever Young is like looking at me like, hi. Oh yeah, initially like when I'm looking at them, I haven't swatched them yet, but they do look more of like a glittery highlight, but I don't think they are gonna be when I swatch it because I've seen several people swatch them on their Snapchats and on YouTube and I'm like, that doesn't look glittery at all. But these definitely do look a little glittery looking at them. Oh, no, that does not look glittery at all on my finger. Oh, honey! That is, my white hand isn't even like showing anything. This is beautiful. <gasps> oh my god. Swatching them, the first two swatch like a beautiful wet dream. <laughs> oh my god! I so did not mean to say like a wet dream. I meant like they look wet. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, you know how like everyone wants a highlight, I feel that like just looks like wetness on their cheek. That's at least what I desire. And the first two look like that wetness, so they're a wet dream. Uh, <laughs> but Daydream definitely does have a- oh my god, no! <laughs> god, I'm a mess. Um, but Daydream does um, have a little bit more of a glitter sparkliness to it on my hand, at least on my swatch. Oh my god, look at Forever Lit. That's the super white one. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Glow Getter because that's the one that actually looks the most appealing to me, especially with this look with like the gold and the warm tones. I'm gonna start off with that. I'm gonna use the Morphe M510, which is the same brush I always use for highlighting. That is so pretty. I feel like I'm a little bit too light in skin tone right now. No, I'm not. No, this works. This works. Okay, I'm fine. Second guessing myself. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of Forever Lit. Oh girl, I'm doing it. I'm going in. I'm gonna glow up. I'm gonna grab a teensy bit just for right here. Oh, mm, give it to me. Yes, son. Yeah, son. Hi. Mix the two together now and do a pinch on my nose. People love to hate on the nose highlight. Hate away, haters. Cause I'ma do my thing. Cupid bow. Before I do my lips really quick, I actually just want to use this sponge to carve out my bronzer a little bit and clean it up and just see how the sponge performs doing that. Uh, I'm obsessed. Uh, that's all I need. Obsessed. Oh 
girl if you are a contour girl this sponge oh my god hell yes morphe hell yes Okay, these brows need to be set. So I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. It says quick and precise brow definition gel. So it's really, really tiny. Like, look at how little that wand is. It is itty bitty. So let's see if this gets the job done. I feel like no products like coming out. I just feel like nothing's coming out. Maybe I'm used to the Anastasia one and like so much product comes out and it's like go Gorilla Glue that this one is like just not what I'm used to maybe. For lips, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Cream in the shade Fawn Over Me, which looks like this like kind of nudie peachy pink. Sorry if I keep going out of focus, by the way. It's because I keep like moving forward and backward. And when I do that, like I get fuzzy. I have to stay in the same place because my camera doesn't autofocus. But that's about to change because I'm getting a new camera in like 72 hours. So I apologize if that's annoying. All right, you guys. So the face is beat to full capacity, which means that we have reached the end of the video. <laughs> I've been here for so long. It has taken me so long to film this video. Like I've taken so many breaks. At one point, I couldn't find my tweezers and that took like 40 minutes to find. And then <laughs> at the very end just now, I started taking selfies. Then I, one of my favorite songs came on. I had like a 30 minute dance party all by myself. I'm so sweaty. I don't know why I did that because I showered right before I filmed. And now I'm so sweaty from dancing so much. I did change my lip color from the last time that you saw me because I just didn't like it. I loved the formula. Where are you? Where are you, Marc Jacobs? The formula of the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Cream is beautiful. Like, so cushiony and so comfortable. I wore it for about 40 minutes, I would say, but I just did not like the color on my skin tone. The color itself is gorgeous, but I just didn't like it on my fair skin. This is a color that I would be obsessed with if I had a spray tan, but I just felt like it was too orange and it just didn't feel like me. So I just swapped out my lip color really quick, and I also highlighted my brow bone because I was like, there's something missing. Overall, I have to say, I actually kind of loved everything in this entire video, which you know really bothers me because people are always like, you just love everything, you're so fake, you never tell the truth, and that's not true. I'm actually like the pickiest bitch ever when it comes to makeup. Like, half the things I try, I don't like. Like, typically if you lay down like five bronzers, I'm only gonna like one of them. Like, I'm very picky with cosmetics, but I just think that today I got really lucky. Everything that I tried are products that I've been dying to try for a while. So I just got really lucky and picked out bomb products, I think, because I pretty much liked everything, honestly. The um, Charlotte Tilbury Brow Gel, I don't know if I like this. I mean, like I said, I danced around out there for like 40 minutes. No, it was more like 30 minutes. Don't be dramatic. Um, but my brows are still in place. I can still feel the brow gel doing its thing, working its magic up there. It's just that tiny little wand that's just kind of like, it's going to take me some getting used to, but I'm going to keep trying it because you never know. A month from now, I might be like, screw the Anastasia brow gel. This is my new ride or die because that's how it happens. The Nicola Anastasia Glow Kit was beautiful. This highlight is still fleek-tastic and I am fine with it. The foundation and the powder and the primer, the combination, I don't know what is what, I don't know what's doing the magic, but my skin looks the best that it's looked in weeks. And that's saying a lot because I have mad texture right now. Like I've got a couple little breakouts coming in right here. I've got texture on my cheeks. It's just hormonal crap going on. And this is the best my skin has looked with makeup on in several weeks. And it's frustrating because I don't really know what's doing what. Like, I don't know if the primer is making it look beautiful, the foundation, or the powder because I used all three things today for the first time. This ColourPop bronzer that they collaborated with Alexis Renon is amazing. This is so creamy and buttery and blendable. I mean, you guys saw on camera, like, you, the proof is in the pudding. You watched me blend this out, and it was so gorgeous. I love the color so much, and especially when I go over to that big mirror that I have over there, and I stand back and see, like, my full body. I'm like, oh my god, this bronze. Like, I just love the warmth, and honestly, the way it applied was, like, a dream. 
Anyways, I'm just rambling about all the products that I tried. I'm so excited because now I can finally like put all of these in my vanity and use them on a daily basis and I cannot wait. Like I just love having new things I know are good like and just getting to enjoy like new go-to products. It's just so yummy. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Thank you so much for watching this very long video, I'm sure. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Let me know if you like this video or like these types of videos if you want me to do more first impressions, more full face first impressions. Just let a hoe know. I'll be here. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.